Hello, second year. How are you today? Well, I hope you are happy and fine. Today is Wednesday, the 9th of September. First of all, we are going to check pages from the activity book, pages 84, 85, 86 and 87, okay? Must be done, finished. And then we are going to continue with unit 11, yes, pages 134, 135, 136, 140, okay, from the class book. Is it clear? All right, so let's go. Good, good, good. Yes, okay, let's check the pages. Remember to put a tick if it is okay, a cross if it is wrong, okay? Is it clear? So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One unit left and we finish the book. Yes, okay. One, camping. Two, sightseeing. Three, backpacking. Four, hiking. Yes, okay, so you have the types of holiday. Remember to choose the one you like and say why you like this kind of holiday. Camping holiday, sightseeing holiday, backpacking, hiking, camping, okay? So let's go to exercise four, across climate, temperature, license, down, visa, hand, cultural, currency. Yes, okay. So let's go to exercise six, five, sorry, for page uh, 85. 1A, 2C, 3B, 4C, 5C, 6A, 7B and 8A. Yes, okay. Good. Let's go to 86. Yes, okay. Okay, well, so let's go. Vocabulary, are you there? Good. Return ticket, sightsee, check in, carry on, rent, tour guide, souvenir, book. Yes, remember you can book a table uh, at a hotel, you can book uh, tickets, yes, okay. You can book um, a room at a hotel too. Exercise two. Yes, yes, don't know, four, no, five, don't know, six, yes, seven, yes, eight, no, three, one B, two E, three F, four C, five D, six A. Okay, is it clear? Okay, the uses of take, yes, take an apple, Take an umbrella, take a break, yes, take a taxi, take a bus, okay? Is it clear? Good. Then we go to shoot and shouldn't. Lo que debi debería y no debería. One, shoot. Two, shouldn't. Three, shoot. Four, shoot. Five, shouldn't. Six, shoot. Okay, so what things you should do if you visit a new place, yes? Okay, you should go sightseeing. Uh, you should you should go to museums. Uh, you should um, you shouldn't you shouldn't stay at the hotel. You shouldn't sleep until late. Yes. Okay. So pay attention and think about all the things you should do, and shouldn't do, and shouldn't do when you go on holidays. Yeah. When you visit a city for the first time. Okay. Is it clear? Right. Five, you should book a hotel room. He shouldn't work late. Should we buy tickets here? She should check in her bag. Remember, you have to check in the bag. You can't, if you have more luggage, yes, you have to check in your bag. Yes, okay, it means that they will put your bags in the, uh, the plane, yes, and there is one Yes, that you are allowed to take with you. Yes, okay? Good. You shouldn't rent a car. What should we eat? Okay, good. 
So let's we go. Let's go to page blah blah blah. That's all. Yes, because eighty-seven is from um, now. Yes, I will put it here. I need more space. Right. I'm putting all of these. Okay. Well, so uh, did you put the date in all the pages? Yes, okay. So you have to put the date on pages 134, 35, 36 and 40. Yes, and um, remember next class we are going to have the revision. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Revision. Yes, on unit 11 and then we go to unit 12 and we finish the book and we start the schematizations. Okay, from all the topics. Yes, okay. Well, um, how do you choose your holidays? Yes, okay, this is the question, yes. Um, wait a minute. How do you choose your holidays? Okay, I'm on page 136. How do you choose your holidays? So, you, uh, tra uh, you see... Yes, you read travel books, uh, you go to uh, a website, a travel website, uh, yes, to a page, yes, you see videos about places, you know, there are a lot of um, programs nowadays that show many places, yes, where you can go on holidays, not only abroad, excuse me, pick abroad, afuera de tu país, abroad, but only here in Argentina, yes, okay. Uh, or do you listen to some kind of advice, some kind of advice from people, um, from your family, for example, from friends? Or do you see it on a holiday, in a holiday brochure? Yes, so I want you to think about it. Yes, uh, think why. Yes, okay. Um, how do you choose your holiday? Yes, porque vamos a ir otra vez a ese pronto. Okay, well. So, you look at the photo of tourists on a ship in Antarctica. Why do you think tourists go there? What do you think they can see? Okay, so you will see, I have many posted here, but you can see why many people go there. Yes, okay. So, what do you think? Yes, then we have to do exercises two, answer the question, uh, two, three, four, yes, seven, A and B, and eight, also nine. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. So pay attention now. Are you ready? So why do you think people go there? Yes, what can you see in the picture? Yes, a group of people there. Yes, okay, they are tourists. Yes, they are in a ship. Yes, okay. So would you like to go there? Why you should and why you shouldn't go there? I shouldn't go there. Uh, because it is very cold and I don't like cold places. Yes, okay, but I would like to see I'd like to see uh, the place they are yes uh, all the, uh, the The view of this place. Yes, okay, so it would be interesting but if I have to choose, I wouldn't go there, yes, okay, because I don't like cold places, okay? Tourists go there to see the immense, amazing view, the landscape, yes, the wild animals, okay? They can see the snow, uh, the icebergs, yes, the iceberg, because you can see a big iceberg there. So many people can go there and take photos there, okay? penguins, whales, yes, okay, and everything, yes, so that's why I think people choose the Antarctica, yes, okay, is it clear? Good, vos tenés que decirlo en casa también, yes, why do you think people go there, okay, so now is the time that you stop the video, do exercises two, three, four, seven, A and B, and eight, also nine, yes, okay, right, and, okay, I will go to the answers. You stop the video, do the activities, read the text, and then listen to the answers, okay? Good. 1D, 
B, 3A, 4C, 5E. Exercise 3. He wants to do something exciting outdoors. 2. Backpacking trips over the Andes, animal safaris in Africa, swimming with dolphins in Australia. Have you ever swam? Have you ever swam with dolphins in Antarctica? ¿Qué tiempo está usando la teacher? Present perfect. Yes. Have you ever swam? Y uso la tercera columna de los verbos, el pasado participio. Three other tourists, he doesn't want to see them everywhere. Yes, okay? So, in number four, you say, do you like the same types of holidays as, as the writer? Do you agree with him about holidays and other tourists? Why, why not? Okay? Well, four. Antarctica is huge and quiet, uh, there's no pollution, no noisy traffic, yes, it has lots of wildlife, cruise companies, companies help the wildlife uh, in the region, yes, against the disadvantages, a lot of tourists visit the place, numbers, uh, the, number of, the numbers of wild animals and birds are decreasing, yes, so we have to be worried about that. Yes, because there are many, many places that are in danger of extinction. Yes, okay. So, we have to watch out. Yes, okay. Well, I'm sorry. Yes, okay. Good. Well, so, uh, number six. Yes, no, seven. Let's go to seven. Okay. I want you to look at the explanation now. Okay. Good, good, good. So, I will explain the uses, the uses of something, nobody, and anywhere. Yes? Is it clear? Right. So pay attention because you need this grammar to do exercises from the book. Yes? Okay. There we are. Okay. So, we have something, yes, okay, something. Whenever we have something, yes, okay, something, nobody, something, anywhere, el verbo siempre va a ser en tercera persona. Something is happening to you, yes, okay. We use for things and in affirmative sentences, yes. I have something, something for you, yes, okay. Something is happening to her. Is there something? Yes, something is happening to you. Yes, okay. No voy a entrar en las cuestiones, okay? Porque ahí usamos anything. Yes, okay. Well, then we have something. Pero, te lo explico igual, okay? Si yo quiero hacer pregunta, yes, there is something here. Yes, there is something here I have to know. Is there anything? Entonces, ahí vas a usar anything porque voy a dar atrás y sabemos que anything se usa para question y para negative. There isn't anything here for me. Yes, there is something for me in this classroom. There isn't anything for me. Is there anything? Yes. Entonces, sigue la, la gramática de Sam y Amy. ¿Ok? ¿Is it clear? Entonces, something, solamente algo, significa para affirmative, yes, okay? Vamos a now body. We use for people and in negative sentences. sentences. Nobody, nobody is here. Yes, okay? Nobody is here, okay? Ya lo está negando ese nobody ahí. Nobody isn't here, no podemos poner, porque ya nobody... Yes, okay. Ya está haciendo la frase negativa. Yes, okay. Good. And then anywhere. Is there anywhere? Yes, we can go tonight. Yes. For places in negative and interrogative. Yes, is it clear? Is there anywhere we can go tonight? Yes. Yes, algún 
lugar. Yes, ok. So, acordate. Nobody ya tiene un uso negativo. El verbo va a is. Yo no voy a poner nobody isn't here. Nobody is here. Yes, ok. Is there anybody here? Yes, is there anybody here? Ya sabes que anybody, any, tenemos con las negative and interrogative. Yes, ok. And anywhere for places and negative and interrogative. Yes, ok. Is there anywhere? Yes, we, where we can go, anywhere we can go tonight. Yes, is it clear? Well, vamos a ver si te salen con los ejercicios ahora. Yes, ok. Good, good, good. Lo que voy a pedir es que ahora te escribas un ejemplo con nobody, yes, con something, yes, en el cuaderno, yes, something, I like to do something exciting, nobody lives, ves que ese nobody lleva una S, ¿por qué? Porque siempre cuando yo voy a usar nobody, somebody, anybody, Yes, voy a, voy a poner el verbo con S, ¿sí? Voy a conjugar como que es una tercera persona, ¿yes? Is there, there isn't anything in my bag. Is there anywhere in the world without other people? Yes. Some, in affirmative, y te lo explica súper bien. And any in negative sentences and questions. ¿Está? ¿Queda claro? Vamos a ver el ejercicio eh, A. Yes, ok, exercise 7. Right. 1. Body. Yes, ok. 2. We use words that we... Where? Sorry. A. Ok, any. We use words that with any in question and negative. Yes, ya lo sabemos. Some with positive. Yes, con el positivo, con el, obviamente con el significado positive. We use word starting with thing, with no, perdón, no, with a positive verb, ¿ok? Entonces acuérdate que este nobody, yo no voy a poner nobody isn't here, no. El verbo está positivo porque esto ya tiene una, una connotación negativa, ¿está? Is it clear? Así que we use words starting with no, with a positive verb, but the meaning is negative, ¿está? Entonces, el significado es negativo, pero el verbo va a ser positivo, ¿está? Yo no voy a decir nobody doesn't live here. Nobody lives here. Nobody likes the film. Yes, ok, porque si no vamos a estar haciendo una, una frase redundante. We use body for person. We use where for place. And we use thing for an object or activity. Yes? Okay. A ver si nos sale completar el 8. There's no, there's no, nothing, there's nothing interesting to do. My ticket is somewhere, en alguna parte. Does anybody want to go sightseeing? I need something to eat. No, nobody in the shop speaks English. I didn't buy anything, okay? Well, so pay attention now. Yes, okay. Wait, wait, wait. So it said, is there anybody, muy bien, acordate, any for questions and negative, some for affirmative. Yes, is it clear? Good. Two, nowhere. Yes, okay, beautiful city, but nowhere else is beauty, as beautiful as Florence. There's always something to see on every street corner, and the local people are very friendly. If you get lost, you can ask. 
somebody for direction. And after a long day, sit in a cafe and do nothing. Relax and watch the world go by. Yes, okay? Well, so um, I'm going to project something before going to the listening. Yes, on page 136. Yes, why you should visit Florence. Yes, okay. Okay, uh, why you should visit Florence, okay? Should, should, ¿qué dice should? Debería, muy bien. You should visit Florence, you should. You should uh, visit Florence because you should uh, meet Friendly people, yes. You should see beautiful landscapes. You should um, know about history. You should buy at cheap places and because you should relax. Yes, okay. So there are many, many things. Why? Yes, okay. You should visit this beautiful place, yes, okay? Because uh, you can see the Piazza Le Michelangelo Square, yes, it, a beautiful churches, Santa Cruz, yes, Ponte Vecchio, shops there, yes, it's very beautiful, Palazzo Pizzi and Boboli Garden, yes, palace and square, Yes, okay? And the things why you should go there, because you should relax, because you should meet friendly people, because you should see beautiful landscape, because you should know about history, because you should buy at cheap places. Yes, okay? If you go to Florence, yes, you shouldn't stay at the hotel until late. Yes, you should get up early. Yes, you shouldn't sleep all day, yes. You shouldn't um, have breakfast for three hours. You should have breakfast very quickly at the hotel and go sightseeing, yes. You should go sightseeing because there are many beautiful places, okay? Well, pay attention. Whenever you invite somebody, whenever you invite somebody, yes, to go to a place, you can say, you should go, you should go, you should take, entonces vamos a poner, ya sabemos el verbo en infinitivo. Otra forma de invitar a alguien a hacer alguna cosa es, why don't you, why don't you come, why don't you go, Why don't you visit? Yes, is it clear? Yes, entonces son diferentes formas de dar invitas, de invitar. Entonces, en la página 134 vas a subrayar todos los cuadros gramaticales, en este caso something, nobody, anywhere, every, anywhere. Y on page 136, making suggestions. Yes, okay. And there we have. Yes, okay. You should go. Why don't you come? Uh, how about... How about going to the cinema? How about visiting Florence? ¿Está? Entonces tenemos Verbo infinitivo con a shoot Why don't you come? Yes, infinitive Yes How about Ya sabemos que about es una preposición El mismo caso de for Que siempre te insistimos con ing well, How about going? How about visiting? How about, how about taking the bus? Yes, is it clear? So now we are going to go to that page. Yes, and we're going to uh, practice making suggestions, okay? But first of all, first of all, I will
will show you a paragraph. Yes, because you, uh, this is very interesting for you. Yes, because you at home, quiero que en casa te escribas un mini paragraph. Yes, how so about why you should visit a place. Elegí el lugar. Yo elegí. Nosotros con la teacher hicimos. Por qué dirías why you should visit Florence? Okay, is it clear? Entonces, esto es súper importante porque también va a salir en algún uh, three minutes video. Yes, why you should visit Florence? Okay. The city of Florence in Italy. Yes. Is considered. Se nos escapó una it. Yes, acá. Yes, the city of Florence in Italy is considered as the birthplace of the Renaissance. Yes, el Renacimiento. An important, an important period in Europe. In Europe. Yes. Okay. From the 14th century to the 17th century, it has a lot of history and culture to discover. You should visit this city because Florence has one of the most famous art galleries in the world when you can, where you can see paintings of famous artists like Raphael, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, and Botticelli. Secondly, yes, Botticelli. Secondly, you can enjoy a gelato ice cream in its beautiful squares full of unique landscapes where you can relax with your friends or family. Finally, if you want to go shopping, you should go to the Ponte Vecchio where you can find precious souvenirs in a considerable price. Definitely, it is a city you shouldn't miss, okay? Right? Yeah? So this is a paragraph about why you should visit a place. Why you should visit Buenos Aires? You should visit Buenos Aires because uh, you should uh, see the Obelisco, you, you should see the Casa Rosada, yes? You can go shopping, yes? You can drink cafes at very famous cafes where famous writers from Argentina used to go, yes? Okay? You can go to the Caminito, that is a very beautiful place. You should see La Boca, yes? Okay? Is it clear? Entonces, tenemos que saber cómo presentar un lugar y decir por qué deberías ir a ese lugar. Okay? Is it clear? And then, you have a questioner. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahora? Lo que vas a hacer de... Um, the homework Okay, it says Vos tenés que armar uno Okay Tourist information How helpful were the staff At our tourist information office? Very helpful Helpful and polite Helpful and polite not helpful or polite. Here yeah, comment. Well, okay, they didn't say, they didn't explain anything. Yes, 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 to comentario. Two, did you visit the local historic places? Yes or no? If yes, please comment. I visited the Museum of Art. Yes, it was wonderful. If not, please say why not. I didn't go to the Museum of Art because in the tourist, in the tourist office, they didn't say it was a, a place of interest. Okay. Did you visit, uh, well, which hotel did you stay at? Please comment on its level of service. Well, the service, uh, my hotel was excellent. The food was, the food and the rooms were uh, very comfortable. The food was very delicious and the rooms were very comfortable. Yes, okay. Which restaurants did you eat at? Please comment on the quality of the food. Well, I ate at El Paseo restaurant, it was excellent, yes, oh, I, I ate at El Paseo restaurant, but the food wasn't delicious, wasn't very good, 
Yes, okay, it wasn't very tasty. Yes. Overall, how was your experience of your of your of our town? Excellent, very good. Okay, not very good. Comment. Okay. Would you recommend our town as a tourist destination? Yes or no? If yes, please comment. I would recommend this city because uh, the local people are very uh, polite and friendly. Uh, the hotels are uh, very comfortable. Yes, the restaurants uh, serve very delicious food. Yes, okay. If not, bueno, cada uno va a hacer eso. Entonces, esto es la manera de hacer un cuestionario. Me imagino que todo el mundo leyó alguna vez un cuestionario, ¿sí? Sobre eh, lo que te dan cuando salís de un hotel, ¿yes? Cuando eh, salís, eh, dices, eso. Entonces vamos a hacer acá, esta parte. Es el mismo que proyecto en clase. What is the is most important? Bla, bla, bla. Good restaurant, good public transport, clean and comfortable rooms, uh, internet facilities, friendly staff, gym and swimming pool, car parking, a good location. Entonces, vos tenés que ver, ¿sí? ¿Qué cosas son importantes para calificar, por ejemplo, un hotel? Yes, okay. A uh, gym. Yes, if it has a gym. If it has, uh, you know, uh, what facilities? Internet facilities, the Wi-Fi was okay. They didn't have Wi-Fi. Uh, but what about the car parking? Yes, if you go, if you take your car. Yes, okay. Uh, the location. Is it near to different bus stops? Is it near to shopping malls? Okay, is it clear? So, todas esas cosas hay que tener en cuenta, you have to take into account when you are going to fill in a questionnaire. Porque en el cuestionario vas a poner las cosas que después. Siempre se da un cuestionario para ayudar a que el servicio mejore. ¿Está? ¿Is it clear? Bueno, y en el 5 lo que vas a hacer es, vas a escribir un cuestionnaire, ¿sí? Siguiendo este ejemplo y el que está en el activity también. Yes, it says, write a questionnaire for one of these groups. Passenger at an airport, customer at a restaurant, or visitor at sports center. Y el que yo quiero que escriba va a ser customers at a restaurant. Customers at the restaurant, ¿sí? Sobre los clientes en un restaurante. Entonces, vos vas a hacer sobre un restaurant. ¿Is it clear? Yes. A todos los que me manden cualquier cosa, pip, pip, le voy a devolver. I, I will give it back to you. ¿Ok? Porque para eso se explica en clase, para que el alumno haga la, la, la actividad correctamente. ¿Está? Porque si no, no se le muestra nada y cada uno hace lo que quiere. ¿Está? Pero así no son las cosas acá porque yo estoy dando la clase y estamos proyectando ejemplos. Bueno, eh, el otro questioner que tengo al lado yes, the one I have here it says uh, what was the reason it says uh, blah, blah, blah. thank you for your visit siempre se pone thank you for your visit ustedes van a ser de un restaurante yes, ok we hope you enjoyed uh, we hope you enjoyed your stay please answer the questions below Your answers are, suggestions are very important for us. Siempre se pone ese encabezado, ¿sí? ¿Por qué? Porque este questionnaire nos va a servir para qué? Para mejorar el servicio, ¿ok? So, thank you for your visit at our restaurant. We hope you enjoy your meal. Please answer the question below, your answers, blah, blah, blah. What was the reason for your visit? ¿Ok? Business. ¿A qué te fuiste a comer a ese lugar? For business. For uh, a meeting with friends, other, for example, yes. How was your food? Delicious? Tasty? Tasty? Yes, tasty. Or awful? How friendly and helpful were the staff? In este caso, how friendly and helpful, helpful uh, were the... Um, The waitress and the waiter and waitresses. Yes. Okay. Very careful and friendly. Yes. Okay. Did you use um, the, for example, did you use the bathrooms? Porque los bathrooms también son importantes a la hora de elegir un lugar donde yo voy a comer. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, if yes, how would you describe the bathroom? Okay. Very clean. 
very comfortable, very clean. Yes, very clean. They were very clean. Uh, there were uh, there was um, soap. Yes, for washing the hands. Porque a veces there was paper. Yes, toilet paper. Porque a veces te vas a un lugar que no tiene papel higiénico, no tiene jabón. A disaster. Yes, a nightmare. Yes, okay. Uh, how was your food? Did you like it? If yes, comment. ¿Está? Entonces, uh, would you like to visit our, uh, uh, our restaurant again? Would you recommend this restaurant to a friend? What other suggestions do you have to improve our service? Our service. Yes, we appreciate your feedback. Yeah, okay. Entonces, espero algo lindo, un cuestionario web bien organizado sobre un restaurant. Yes, okay, sobre un restaurant. Si me manda de un air, si me manda de un airport, no voy a recibir. Si me manda de un sports center, tampoco, porque voy a detectar que no están viendo las clases y yo estoy pidiendo un questionnaire de un restaurant. Okay, is it clear? So, well, so that's all he, from here, from the projections. So we're going to go to the activities there. Yes, yeah, that was uh, from page 136. Okay, okay. All right, so there we are. You are going to listen uh, about how people, yes, listen to two friends talking about holiday. And you have to answer the questions in exercise two. Which of the things in exercise one are the friends looking at? Yes, if they are uh, looking for a travel for travel books, uh, if they are looking for videos about places, if they are looking for a brochure, brochure. Acordate que es el panfleto ese que te dan con toda la información sobre el lugar, los mu the museums you can visit, the art galleries you can visit, the most important places to visit of a city. Yes, from a city. Which countries in South America do they mention? And what type of holiday does one person suggest at the end, okay? So where do you think this place is? Yes, okay, yes, there are a lot of people. Yes, okay, it's a crowded place. Uh, there are also people at the terrace, terraces. Yes, there are like shops maybe. Uh, they are uh, a group of people. Yeah, uh, there is a virgin there. The virgin is coming, yes. So uh, there are many men, I think, that are carrying the virgin. Yes, they are wearing um, a yellow t-shirt. Yes, I think it is in some parts of South America because of the title. Okay, so let's go. Track 106, Unit 11D. That looks interesting. Yes, it's a holiday brochure. Oh, really? I yes. I've got a month in South America, so I'm looking at places to go. I went there last year. It's an amazing part of the world. I went on a cruise all the way from Brazil to Argentina. Wow. You should go on that. Yes, but... I'm interested in the wildlife. How about visiting the Andes? That was part of my bus tour in Chile. But the disadvantage is that there are lots of other people with a bus tour. I like travelling on my own. But the advantage is that you see more with a tour guide. And you visit places other tourists don't normally go to. Hmm, maybe you're right. Mm. Can I make a suggestion? If you have a month, why don't you go on a tour for two weeks and then you could travel on your own afterwards? <sighs> Actually, that's a really good idea. So, the girl, the woman, will take a month traveling. And 
the man, the friend's suggestion was that she should, yes, take two weeks with a tour and the rest alone, on her own, yes, on my own, on your own, on her own, yes, for si sola, yes, okay, because she likes traveling alone, on her own, but his advice is that sometimes, yes, um, if you take, uh, if you go with a tour guide, yes, you visit different places that uh, tourists generally don't go, yes, so, uh, his advice is, why don't you, te diste cuenta como soy, why don't you, why don't you take two weeks uh, with a tour guide, with a tour, and the rest alone, on your own, yes, okay, is it clear? Well, so you are going to listen again, and you are going to complete the sentences with two words, yes, okay, in exercise three. Now is the time that you listen again, then listen to the answers, okay? Exercise two. A holiday brochure, Brazil, Argentina and Chile, three, a tour for two weeks, then two weeks of traveling on their own at the end. Three, you should, two, I'm interested in, yes, four, how about visiting, how about going, how about traveling, yes, okay, in este caso era how about, yes. But the disadvantage is that, number five, the advantage, number six, maybe you are, seven, make, can I make a suggestion? Yes, siempre haces make a suggestion, yes. Okay, te puedo sugerir, puedo hacer una sugerencia, no es do a suggestion, sino make a suggestion, yes. Actually, that's a really good idea, yes, okay, good. Well. What number five, it says, read about, I want you to talk at home, read about these people and discuss the best type of holiday for each of them. Gary has two week holiday to take. He loves traveling, but he doesn't love crowded cities, so he should travel alone, on his own. Yes, okay, is it clear? Okay, because I remember that at this unit, yes, you have the type of holiday, tenés todo tipo de uh, holidays, yes, okay. So this man should go backpacking, yes, okay. Um, Miguela is a student, she has three months in summer, wow, amazing, but she doesn't have mu much money, so she could go backpacking or camping, she, she should take a camping holiday, yes, okay, because, because it should be uh, a mixture between camping holiday and backpacking, yes, because she should go, she can go to campings that are, um, cheaper than staying at a hotel, for example. Dorothy and Frank are, the, are in their 60s, they don't work anymore, and they have lots of free time. They never traveled when they were young. Well, so they could go on a cruise, maybe, for me, cruise, un crucero, yeah? Um, and of course, uh, in a cruise you have certain days that you can visit the cities where the ship, the cruise stops, yes? So they could go sightseeing in these cities, yes? In the cities, the cruise stops, yes? Okay, is it clear? Well, the questionnaire is already explained, yes? Okay, so on page 137, yes? Okay, you have to fill in the questionnaire as an example, yes? And exercise five is the homework, yes? Can we go to the last page, there is the revision. I want you to do exercise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. From 1 to 9. Now is the time that you stop the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Okay? Okay. En el punto 1 tenemos que completar con have to. Don't have to, can or can't. Vos ya sabés que después de todos estos verbos modales, el verbo va a ir en infinitivo, ¿ok? I have to clean my house. I don't have to wash the dishes. Uh, I can uh, play the piano, but I can't play the violin. Yes, is it clear? Good. 
One, don't have to. Two, can't. Three, can. Four, have to. Exercise two, should or shouldn't. Lo que debería y no debería ser. Después del should, como es un verbo modal, el verbo también va en infinitivo. I should study. I shouldn't cheat on my exams. Okay? One, should. Two, should. Three, shouldn't. Four, should. Exercise three. Estas son tus posibles. Acuérdate que son about your job or studies. I should study. I shouldn't uh, speak when the teacher is explaining uh, the grammar. I have to. Uh, 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 uh. I have to get up early. I don't have to watch TV until late. Um, I can drink uh, coffee, but I can't drink alcohol when I am at school. Yes, exercise four. Complete, come on. Somewhere, something, somebody. Five, currency, visa. This is a specific vocabulary, right? License and multicultural. Six, camping, hiking, sightseeing. Two, type of ticket. Single and return. Acordate, single es el de ida nomás. Return ticket es, es muy importante esto cuando viajas para sacar los tickets. Return ticket te van a, vas a pagar el ida y vuelta. Y vuelta. Souvenir, yes. Tourist and tour guide. Exercise eight. Well, number seven, tourist. Tourism, tour guide. De una palabra tenés la familia de palabras. Tourism, tourist, tour guide. A break, vamos a con la collocation we take. Acordate que podemos tomar un objeto, podemos tomarnos un descanso y podemos tomarnos eh, un means of transport. Take a taxi, take a, the bus, take an apple, take a pen, take a pencil. Yes, okay. Uh, take money. Yes, okay. And then, ¿qué me falta? Blah, 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 blah. Take a cruise ship. Uh, 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 uh. Take a break. Yes, tomarse un descanso. Uh, exercise three. Something, somewhere, somebody. Yes, okay. Exercise eight. One B, two C, three B. 4A, 3D. Yes, okay. So it says, what about your holidays? Where did you go last holidays? Last holidays, I went to uh, Mar del Plata. Uh, I went with my two daughters and my husband. Uh, I did many things. First of all, I went to the beach. I went to some cafes. I went to restaurants. I went to the theater. I went to concerts. Um, what else? I went to... Um, a kind of uh, forest. I went to the forest, but it has a name, and I don't remember the name at this moment. Uh, Bosque Energetico, the energetic uh, forest. Yes, it was a very nice place. Um, would you recommend this holiday? Yes, I would recommend this holiday, but the means of transport, if you have to take the bus, um, it's not very good, yes, okay? It should be better, yes, okay, good. Well, so that's all from here. I want you to study, yes, because next class you will have the revision. Yes, I have explained again all the topics, uh, revise again. Remember to, have to write your questionnaire about what? About a restaurant, okay? Is it clear? Well, you have the guide there. In the activity book, there is another guide. Yes, the same guide that we... Uh, projected here it is one questionnaire here and the other questionnaire is here in your notebook yes another questionnaire here okay well bye bye do activity pages that are there in the photo pizarra and the writing the questionnaire is a questionnaire okay bye bye second year study for next class have a nice day have a nice weekend